Hey everybody, welcome to another video of Monica Barnes Art. Today I am doing a simple little painting. I am using stone coat resin. It is one part hardener to one part resin. I will combine them two together and stir for three minutes. This week I'm gonna do two shout outs. One to my girl, Tammy Anderson. You gotta check her out on YouTube. She's an amazing resin artist. I will put her information below so you guys can see what she can do. Because she comes up with some good ideas. If you haven't seen her yet, go visit her site. This is Resin Obsession. It is ocean blue. It's like an ink that you can use with resin. It's very, very concentrated. So you see that little tiny drop that I put in there? That's all you need. And that's probably too strong. This is um, purple from the Color Cottage. I think it's called Groovy Grape. It's a really pretty purple. You only need a little scoop of that. I'm gonna put that into my cup. And next, I will be using, this is um, Stone Coat. It is a white tint. Now this is, I think, oil-based. You need not too much, but I want it to be super white on my board. Now I'm just gonna combine the resin into each cup. I am putting the resin into each cup and I am stirring it together really well. We want to mix it in really good, especially that mica powder. Mica powder you definitely want to mix well. Now remember that little tiny drop of blue ink that I put in that cup? See how concentrated it is? It is a little bit too dark, so I'm going to add a little bit of clear to it. Lighten it up just a little. So I only need like a half a drop for this little cup, basically. I got done mixing my white up, and I'm just going to pour it on the board. Now remember, this is an oil base. I'm pretty sure it's oil base. It smells like it's oil base. So I'll put the other colors on top, and when I do, I'll probably get cells right away. I also wanted to give a shout out, and you need to check her out on YouTube, is Lisa Wyatt Art. She comes up with some good stuff. You guys might want to check her out. I'm going to grab my torch and torch it just a little bit to pop those bubbles. And by popping the bubbles, um, that helps. So when it cures, you don't have little pits in your painting. See, I have a bunch of cells already. Now I could do a swipe on this, which would create a whole lot of cells. Or I can push it around with a heat gun. And that's what I'm basically going to do, use the heat gun on this. So I thought there was too much blue, but you know what it is? I don't think the purple's dark enough. So right now I am going to mix up some darker purple. I am using um, purple from Cherie's Creative. Uh, post all the information about the Color Cottage, Mica Pigment, Stone Coat, Cherie's Creative. All the pigments that I've used in this video, I'll post um, below. So I'm just gonna push these inks around with my heat gun. I don't know if you guys can see the little white cells popping up. The longer I let it sit, the more cells will actually appear. But with this piece, I'm not looking with, 
for too many cells. So I'm going to move it around and see what I get. The reason why I'm getting a lot of cells is because the stone coat white that I put down is an oil base and then I'm putting the other colors on top that are not oil base. So when you combine them to it's like oil and vinegar, how they separate, that's basically what's happening. I'll let this piece sit for a minute and see what it does because as it sits, it definitely moves around a little bit and I'm getting more cells. So it sure did move around. Look at this piece. It almost looks like thunderstorm clouds to me. I think it is absolutely amazing. I love it so much. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that bell so you get notifications on my next video. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Everything that I use in my videos is posted below, so you can click on the link and go shopping on Amazon. It helps me out and it helps you out. Thanks so much. Dookie. Come on, Duke. Duke. Say hi. Dookie. Oh, Lordy.